Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a fun little video for you guys. This idea kind of sprang from my highlighter collection video and I just realized I had so many fun different gold highlighters from various brands and I thought it would be so fun for me to share them with you guys and I wanted to swatch them all because I feel like they're all from different brands. Some of them are a little bit more expensive, some are less expensive and I just wanted to see if they were all the same because I kind of have a theory that they all look the same but they're all like ridiculously pricey or ridiculously cheap. Um, anyway, if you're interested in seeing some golden highlighters that work with my skin tone, just keep watching. Also, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe down below. I usually upload every other day, so you do get quite a bit of regular content from me, and I would really appreciate it if you subscribe. Also, you'll get notified every time I upload a video if you hit that bell button. So without further ado, let's get into my golden highlighter collection. Okay guys, so I'm going to start with the highlighter that kind of started it all as far as the golden highlights go, and that is Laura Geller Gilded Honey. Now if you've been watching YouTube for a while, you're going to know what this highlighter is. This one like took over the internet and broke it because it sold out everywhere and was so hard to get a hold of. Um, this is by the brand Laura Geller and it contains 0.16 ounces of product with an 18 month shelf life and it is made in Italy. So this is quite a bit smaller than some of the other highlighters you will see in my golden highlighter collection. Um, but as you can see, I've barely really made a dent in it. This is a really nice soft baked gelée formula and it is the first highlighter I wanted to show you in my golden highlights collection. Now a lot of the highlighters in this video are going to be this exact same shade because a lot of people were really attracted to this one because a lot of people that owned MAC Whisper of Guilt were saying this was definitely a dupe. So lo and behold, MAC did launch Whisper of Guilt in this limited edition packaging last year during the holidays. So I do have it here so I am going to swatch it next to Gilded Honey and we are going to have our answer. So there are the two shades, honestly, <laughs> they really do look similar. Um, like I said, you're going to see like 800 of the same shade swatch on my arm today, but yeah, I was just curious to swatch them all because like I said, I just feel like I know I have a lot of golden highlights. And then another one everyone said was a dupe for Whisper of Guilt was Estee Lauder Heat Wave. Now MAC and Estee Lauder are all owned by the same company. So I believe, is it called Estee Lauder, the umbrella company? I'm not sure. But so there are all three of them swatch right next to each other. They literally look identical. It's ridiculous. And then uh, MAC also recently came out with the shade Oh Darling. This is an extra dimension skin finish and as you can see it's a beautiful golden shade. So I'm going to swatch that. Again, I love this formula. And oh my gosh, it <laughs> they literally all four look the same. So if you are looking to pick up a highlighter and you're into this golden tones, I would definitely just say get one because clearly you don't need all of them. It's a little ridiculous. I am so sorry. And then I wanted to swatch the highlighter that also broke the internet for Jaclyn Hill. This is Jaclyn Hill's Champagne Pop. This is a shade, honestly. This color is so universally flattering. Now it definitely looks... <laughs> it, it looked more pink like in the pan, but once I swatched it, these all literally look the same. This is so funny. Why am I surprised every time I swatch another color that is exactly that is exactly the same? Okay, so another golden highlighter I have is this one by Bobbi Brown, and this is called Bronze Glow. But I would consider this a golden. I mean, it's definitely more bronzy. So there it is, but I feel like it definitely has like a golden undertone to it. So there is Bronze Glow. And then I have Ofra Rodeo Drive, which I feel like definitely looks like Heat Wave and Mako Darling and all of that. This is like one of the most blinding highlighters I own. It's so, so pigmented. So if you look, it is definitely a little bit lighter than these ones right here. So if you've been curious about that, there's a swatch. This is Wet n Wild Boozy Brunch, which is also another very famous golden highlight. So I'm going to swatch that. 
that definitely looks closer to the other highlighters as well in my golden highlighter collection right there. And this is a new one that's really been making a splash. This is the Master Chrome by Maybelline. This one is so pigmented, you guys. You know, they're all literally like the same color, so I think this is really, really funny. Okay, and then I wanted to swatch Anastasia Beverly Hills' So Hollywood, which is also supposed to be a dupe for like Heat Wave and stuff like that. This one, I don't even know, it was sold out for so long. And then finally it launched, and of course I had to get my hands on it. Yep, there it is, exactly like these four up here. This is insane. That's so funny. Um, I also have, which one is this? The Becca Skin Perfector in Opal. So I'm just going to swatch that so you guys can see it. This one is also tan girl friendly. So there it is. That one it reminds me a lot of like this shade up here, this one, and I already have lost track of which ones I've swatched on my arm already. So there is that. And then Milani number three in Sun Glow. That is what it looks like. I love this Milani highlighter formula. It is so beautiful. And yeah, I would definitely say it looks like Heat Wave. There it is right there. Very pretty. Okay, and then I just have two more highlighters I wanted to compare. We have Wet n Wild Mega Glow in Precious Petals. This one is definitely more rosy toned, so not as golden. And then I have Gold is a New Black by Dose of Colors. This is definitely a straight up gold, so this one I don't think is going to resemble. Um, actually... I mean, can you really see any difference in any of these? <laughs> I can, but this is a little ridiculous because all of these highlighters are basically in like the $30 to $40 range other than the drugstore ones. So, I mean, this is like, you could go like $30, $60, $90, $120, like, that's like a good like $200 worth of swatches on my arm. So I just wanted to show you guys that even though they come from different brands, a lot of highlighters can be really similar. And so if you're looking to save money and if you feel like you have an overwhelming amount of makeup in your collection, what you should do is probably swatch them out, see what similar shades you have, then you can do some decluttering. Or if you're trying to choose a highlighter to buy, maybe, you know, see how similar these are and then just pick one that is currently available because I think this was like limited edition and so was this one. So, you know, just giving you some ideas on how you can maybe save money and still have a kick-ass highlight at the same time. Okay guys, that is it for this highlighter video. I hope you guys found this useful or entertaining. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe down below. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye guys.